Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Dan's Grand Valley Railroad. Uh, this week, we're going to try something a little different. We're going to do a, an operations session, and just a, a quick one. But we are going to do a switching operation where we switch out these boxcars back here on my industries. This is a freight forwarder, and that is a U.S. mail distribution center. And we're going to button up both of those boxcars and take them away. And at the same time, we're going to drop a fresh one for the freight forwarder. Uh, I've got it staged over here in the yard. It's a fresh 40-foot boxcar for them. And to do this, we're going to use my Broadway Limited EMD SW1500 switcher. And uh, we're going to grab that boxcar back there and take it out onto the main line here and then switch back onto the branch line and head back there to the industries. So uh, that seems like something fun I've always kind of wanted to do. Uh, before we do that, I wanted to highlight just a couple of vehicles I picked up last weekend while when I returned the uh, defective uh, steam locomotive. Grabbed this 55 T-Bird here. And then I also got a 63 Corvair. <laughs> and that is my neighbor and good friend, Mike, uh, from Burbank. He is a faithful follower and uh, watches all my videos and comments. So he had a, a Corvair back in the day. So this is, uh, this is Mike's Corvair. He's there up in his apartment. Uh, right up there, top floor of the main building. So, <laughs> Mike, I hope you get a kick out of that. Uh, anyway, uh, with all that being said, let's head over to the bench. I wanna show you a couple projects I'm working on, and then we'll get to the switching operation. Okay, you remember the, the two yellow Union Pacific boxcars? This was the first one that I weathered, and I used a brush and some uh, chalk paint and different things to weather it and it came out pretty good. Uh, I had yet to do the other one. Well, uh, yesterday I decided to try out my new Harbor Freight uh, airbrush kit and uh, I used, uh, I did use uh, uh, some brushes just to kind of wipe away some dry brushing and stuff, but uh, for the most part I used the airbrush and I'm pretty happy with it. It came out real good. It, it really does look like weathered streaks, much better than using a brush. Um, I still need some practice with it. It's a two stage, so there's a lot to it, but I do think it came out pretty good. Here's the other side. Got some rust streaks coming down from the ladder and stuff, and uh, you know, not too crazy. Uh, some rust on the the grill for the uh, the engine for the uh, the generator for the refrigerator part. Whoops! And uh, there's some more streaking there. Um, I did. I thought I, I went a little heavy on the catwalk there, but I think it looks pretty good. I might take some chalks now. I have to get some, but I want to take some chalks and just uh, uh, maybe relieve that just a little bit. But for the most part, I think. They came out pretty good together, uh, pretty well matched. I did the trucks, I don't know if you can see, just some light weathering and discoloration. I may do a little bit more uh, splash up down here, some dirt and grime, but overall I'm pretty happy with them. So they look pretty good. So uh, then I got this week uh, I ordered a breadboard kit and it, from Amazon. It's actually pretty cool. It says it's Arduino uh, compatible, but uh, it came with all this neat stuff. So lots of LEDs, all kinds of transistors and switches and uh, potentiometers and uh, all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, let's see here, capacitors, disc capacitors, um, and then all of the jumper leads for the actual breadboard, uh, some terminal stuff, a bunch of resistors, and it even has a power supply, which connects here, and then you can uh, connect 
USB or a barrel connector from a wall wart, which it didn't come with that, but it did come with the USB cable. Bunch of jumpers um, and then uh, extensions. So male on one end, female on the other. This whole kit was $15. Uh, of course, came with the breadboard. Um, I couldn't beat that and really fun to play around with. Um, so uh, what I'm doing here, I've got something set up here, as you can see, but let me tell you what it is. I got this off of eBay. This is an Athern uh, Ready to Roll series. Uh, it's new, but it was from somebody's used stock. Uh, so it didn't come in a box, but it, it came very well packaged and uh, very happy with it. So I want to do some weathering on this like neighbor Mike did on his I, I kind of want to match it. So my first uh, step here is going to be, I'm going to take the trucks off, mask up the windows, because you can see they have uh, glass in them, and I'm going to do a dull coat on it to uh, get it ready for some chalks and stuff. So I've got the testers dull coat uh, in a bottle, so I'm going to have to get some uh, lacquer thinner and thin it down. I think 50-50 is what I read. Uh, thin it down and use my airbrush to uh, spray this. And then later this week, I'm going to go to neighbor Mike's and we're going to do a little bit of weathering on it to make it more match the one that I have uh, borrowed from him. Uh, and then now, if you remember, his has a light on the back here and I'll, uh, I don't have it with me now, but I'll put a picture up uh, right here so you can see. Um, it has a red light on the back part by the door. Uh, I'm not sure which side. Uh, his only has one. But so what I want to do is wire this with it as well. Now there's a couple ways to do that. You can do the uh, trucks with the pickup um, pieces on it that bring power into the cab. And then NCE makes some neat little light it, uh, they call it light it PC boards. And, uh, and then you can control uh, lights with it uh, via DCC. And that's pretty cool. Now I have uh, two, a set of trucks and the NCE boards on order. They should be here this week sometime. Uh, now another option, and I've seen some videos uh, on YouTube of guys that do this, is just use a battery option and put the batteries inside. Uh, there is a, a really cool uh, way that you can use what they call reed switches. These are some reed switches, they're glass, and they use a magnet, and you can have it literally just glued in right on the underside of the roof, use a magnet, and it'll switch the light on. Uh, and then you have a battery pack inside, which right now I've got set up with this 2032 three volt coin battery with a little holder. It has its own switch on it, but I'll switch it on and you can see I've got a light that I can have uh, one on each end of the caboose and then some interior lights if I want. Those are just plain white lights. And I've just got some resistors and it's basically just a real simple circuit uh, lighting those with three volts. Uh, these are two volt, uh, three millimeter LEDs. So I've got them resist, uh, resistor on them to bring them down a little bit. So they're not so bright, but I think those would look pretty good, uh, on the back end, um, these inside, and then, uh, a hidden switch that I could hit with a magnet and that would turn on. So I've got both those options. Uh, I'll have both those options, uh, midweek here sometime when that stuff arrives. So, uh, uh, I'm deciding what I'm going to do. But the first thing I'm going to do, like I said, is take this apart, mask off the windows and get some dull coat on it so that uh, we can get it looking weathered. Not too much, but just uh, not quite so plasticky. <laughs> Okay, over here on the layout, uh, got the switcher hooked up to the fresh boxcar that we're dropping off at the freight forwarder. So we'll just uh, back up here off the main line onto the branch line and head on down there towards the industries.
So we're just going to grab the first boxcar from the freight forwarder and uh, pull that out of the way. And then we can place the new boxcar, the new 40-footer, for them to load up. Okay, we just uncoupled the uh, new boxcar from the old ones, and now we're going to go drop that at the freight forwarder so we can come back and grab the two loaded boxcars. Okay, we're all hooked up to the loaded cars, and we're going to take those back to the yard now.
All right, so there we go. They are back in the yard now, ready to uh, get hooked up to the uh, the main train heading out of town. So, uh, well, that was a lot of fun. Sorry about the uh, power dropouts. Like I said, those only happen when <laughs> you're filming. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we had a little blooper that happened right over here, which was quite funny, and I laughed quite a bit. So I'll include that at the very end of the video. Anyway, uh, that's all we have for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, love your comments. Thank you for all the comments. All you new subscribers, we are closing in on 400 subscribers. It blows my mind. I say it every week. It blows my mind. Thank you so much, everybody. All you faithful uh, subscribers that watch and uh, comment, uh, really look forward to it. Try to answer everything I can. Uh, so thank you so much. Until next update, we shall see you. Take care. Have a good week. Yeah. <laughs>